shots are heard from from villagers nearby. No one dares to go outside. All right, we're in Budapest, and we have a group of bus about people here, and we're gonna start a very, very long day of walking, and I'm very, very excited. So, I'm gonna go introduce you guys. Okay, and I need you to introduce everyone oh. for me. This is our friends Danielle, Kieran, and Tally. Hi. Hi. First up on the list is St. Stephen's Basilica. We're gonna do a loop around the city today. We're over here at Fisherman's Bastion. This is the most iconic place to take a photo. You can literally go around any of these windows and the angle will be pretty magical. I just played chess with that man and <laughs> we put five years on it. And I lost. lost. I lost so fast. We just took a scenic route to Porta Castle, which was first completed in 1265. And it appears to be that the Hungarian kings loved their dogs. Scar! Scar! No. Grab my hand! That was a, that was a, that was a Lion King reference and y'all just did not get it. I got it! We're at Great Market Hall where the first level is a lot of fruits, veggies, cured meats, cheeses, garlic, and chili. Upstairs has some of the best langos, which we're gonna go and have for lunch. And I've heard really good things about it, so check it out. This is level two at the markets where you can get more of your food stalls where they cook your lunch, and more of your souvenirs where you can get trinkets, key rings, um, furry hats, that sort of stuff. And on today's episode of Leanne Ritz, what do we have here? Today we have uh, langosh. I was going to say gorge. Today we have langosh, which is a typical Hungarian food. It's fried bread, generally with a sour cream base. And you can add different toppings on it, generally sour cream and cheese, but I've added ham and mushrooms. It's a big piece of bread. <laughs> Ooh. Well, mm. one out of ten. Seven. It's fresh too. That's, a, make, that's a fair rating. Yeah, they make a ride right on the spot for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, and the third one is my dad is Scottish and he can play the bagpipes. Raise your hand if you think number three is the lie. Yeah, sorry. It's gonna be three. Scottish, he can play the bagpipes. Oh, like a half line. <laughs> okay, first stop of the day is this bad boy. All right, so what's this guy's name? Okay, so this is Gregorius of Nin, aka Ginger Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger Ninja. So this is the 10th century Croatian bishop, Greg, and um, it's said that if you suck his toe, you get good luck. I'm just joking. <laughs> if you rub his toe, you get good luck. <laughs> so we're currently walking in Diocletian's palace and we're on our way to the tower next. Oh, Made it to the tower. We gotta walk all the way up. Uh. <laughs> so we're here.
here at St. Dominus Bell Tower. It says the building of the Bell Tower started in the first half of the 13th century and lasted for more than 300 years. It is spectacular. It is 60 meters high. Oops, too bright. <laughs> it's spectacular. <laughs> Margin Hill, it is amazing, but I could not prepare for this hike. <laughs> so we're gonna go and get some ice cream at Luca because that was recommended to us and we need to reward ourselves from a long day. Best ice cream I've had in Europe thus far. I'm speechless. How'd you rate it? So good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This was really good ice cream. Like, I didn't want it to end just woke up from the best nap and it only took me like a minute to walk out to the waters from Goli and Bossi. Check out this sunset. I'm having a bit of a moment because it's so beautiful. And now I'm about to meet up with some friends I made on the bus and we're going to have some dinner at Five, which is a traditional Croatian restaurant. But I just wanted to sit here and enjoy the view because it's so nice. We're going to have some dinner here. Our guide Rachel recommended it to us. Apparently it's very affordable as well. There they are! Hey, hey, hey. Hi guys! So we're at dinner having some food. I've got the punya paprika. Punya pra paprika. Punja punja punya paprika. And this is the uh, what's it called? It's a normal uh fish black risotto. It's a what? Mucklefish black risotto. Mucklefish black risotto. It's the Sydney Cuisine Mijet Mihehan Sana Riva. A delicacy. <laughs> the next day. So we are on the way to eat some burek. Burek? I don't know how you call it, but this is the adopted national street food here. It's pretty much, what is it? It's like a. Uh, pastry? Yeah, it's like a puff pastry, street pie um, with lots of meat and cheese and you can get different toppings in it. And this place is supposed to be famous for it, so we'll check it out. Here is the burek. I got the meat and Jazz has got the spinach. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was quick. <laughs> First bite. How do you rate it? One out of ten. I've never had it before, but I would say like an 8. An 8? Woo! And what do you rate it out of 10? Uh, I'd say an 8. That was solid. <laughs> okay, so the more I eat this, the higher I rate it. The pastry is just so amazing, and then the meat. So good. So we liked it so much we got dessert, which is the same thing but with apple inside. Something about the way she raises me.